When Kylie Jenner first launched her cosmetics line in 2015, it was a huge success. Lip kits sold out within minutes of being released, and the brand was an overnight sensation. But as the brand grew, so did the controversy surrounding it, from accusations of overstatement of net worth to concerns about product quality, Kylie Cosmetics has had its share of scandals. But despite these setbacks, the brand has emerged stronger and more resilient than ever. In this video, we're going to explore the fascinating story of Kylie Cosmetics, from its beginnings to its meteoric rise, its bumpy ride, and how it's made a comeback. The beginning, rise before Kylie Jenner started her makeup brand, she was already super famous from the reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. But besides the popularity generated by the show, Kylie also became popular due to her makeup and some changes in her appearance, especially her plump lips. During that time, there was a lot of talk on Instagram about her getting lip injections, even though she initially said it wasn't true. This caused a big trend called the Kylie Lip Challenge in April 2015. It was kind of risky because it involved sucking the air out of something small to make the lips look bigger. Healthcare professionals said it was dangerous, but many young people still found it cool and did it to get plumper lips. This all happened before Kylie became a big name in the makeup industry. Kylie began her foray in the world of lip gloss production by partnering with Seed Beauty, a retail and product development company founded by the owners of ColourPop. Seed Beauty had existing formulas from ColourPop, and they could tweak them a bit to create new products for Kylie. Their partnership kicked off with a line of lip products, and the first to be launched was the Kylie Lip Kit. It's a collection of three liquid lipsticks in different colors, Dolce K, Candy K, and True Brown K, with corresponding lip liners. Instead of the usual method of advertising, Kylie leveraged her social media presence to announce the product to the world. Kylie, who already had a massive following of 43.6 million on Instagram, 12.6 million on Twitter, and an undisclosed number on Snapchat, teased the products before the official launch. This approach turned out to be a huge success. By the time of the launch, it had become a sensation. This was due in part to the absence of competition in the market then, and also to being associated with a popular celebrity, the novelty of the product, and the anticipation they built by promoting it as the first with matching lip liners. The launch was incredibly huge, and the lip kit sold out within minutes, generating massive buzz and demand. Meanwhile, only 5,000 units of each shade were produced, making it 15,000 in all. This makes the product scarce and highly demanded. After the initial success of Kylie Lip Kits, Jenner renamed the brand Kylie Cosmetics in 2016 and added three new shades of lip kits to her product range for Valentine's Day. Production was boosted to 500,000 units of all six shades to satisfy consumer demand. By February 2016, the company had to ramp up its manufacturing capacity, and within its first 18 months of operation, it had generated over $420 million in revenues. In November 2016, Kylie Cosmetics ran its first collaboration campaign with Khloe Kardashian with the Kook X Kylie collection. After its huge success, the company doubled down by launching a holiday collection on November 21, which resulted in the brand's largest sale yet, generating nearly $19 million in revenue within 24 hours. In April 2017, Kylie Cosmetics reported over $13.5 million in revenue, largely dominated by the sales generated from the Creme Lipstick Collection in collaboration with Kim Kardashian. In November, Jenner partnered with Topshop, which sold Kylie Cosmetics across its seven retail stores across the U.S. This was a major expansion for the brand since, up until then, the company only operated with customers directly. The company would go on to make several other collaborations with Kris Jenner, Khloe Kardashian, and Kim Kardashian. They were huge successes and dominated their respective sales figures with each launch. In 2018, the beauty brand added blushes to their product line, and in November 2018, Kylie Cosmetics further ramped up its retail and digital expansions by partnering up with Ulta Beauty and launching a mobile app in the same month. By the end of the year, 
the company had an estimated annual revenue of over $360 million. So, in 2018, Kylie Cosmetics was valued at $900 million by Forbes, which would have made Kylie Jenner the youngest self-made billionaire in history. By September 2019, Jenner had successfully expanded her brand into skincare and personal fragrances. She launched the Kylie Skin, a skincare line with a line of six skincare products, including a foaming face wash, walnut face scrub, vanilla milk toner, vitamin C serum, face moisturizer, and eye cream. In November of the year, beauty conglomerate Cody purchased a 51% stake in Kylie Cosmetics for $600 million, effectively valuing the company at $1.2 billion. With this, Kylie Jenner retained 49% ownership and creative control of the brand. This was a major milestone for the company and signaled its continued success in the beauty industry. The controversies. However, the Cody deal would reveal the deficit nature of Kylie Cosmetics. So, according to Kylie Jenner, the reason she sold her stake in Kylie Cosmetics was to expand into new markets and categories. However, the company's sales information was revealed to the public after the sale to Cody Inc., and it showed that the company's sales were much lower than previously thought. This led to speculation that the family had been lying about the sales since the company's inception in 2016. It also revealed that Kris Jenner's business, the KMJ 2018 Irrevocable Trust, had a 5% profit interest in Kylie Cosmetics, which means that Kylie may not have owned as much of the company as previously thought. This revelation led to Forbes retracting their statement about Kylie being a billionaire in 2020 and revised the valuation of Kylie Cosmetics, alleging that the company's value had been significantly inflated. This caused quite the controversy at the time. There was also an expose on Kylie's skincare line, Kylie Skin, which launched in May 2019. The line had only made a quarter of the claimed $100 million despite the initial hype around it. This wasn't surprising given that the products were poorly formulated and were not safe for sensitive skin, which led to a major controversy when they launched a scrub that contained walnuts. The crux of the controversies came in July 2020 when Seed Beauty filed a lawsuit against Cody and Kylie Cosmetics, alleging that during the acquisition process, Confidential information about Seed Beauty's trade secrets and business practices had been disclosed to Cody. This was evidenced by press releases and media articles at the time of the sale that contained information that should have been kept private. Seed Beauty claimed that they had attempted to address this privately with Cody, but were ignored and were therefore forced to file the lawsuit. The lawsuit sought to prevent Cody from using Seed Beauty's confidential information to manufacture and sell Kylie Cosmetics products. The lawsuit began in July 2020, but Kylie Cosmetics and Cody continued to produce and release products until November 2020, when the release of new beauty products ceased. Over the next few months, fans and beauty enthusiasts began to wonder what was happening with the brand. Even their Kylie Skin products, which were launched in Europe, the UK, France, Germany, and Australia during that time, didn't have much buzz surrounding it compared to the fact that it was associated with such a big celebrity. The rebranding. Since then, little was heard about Kylie Cosmetics until May 2021, when Kylie teased a relaunch of the brand. The relaunch was officially announced just a month before Seed Beauty and Cody settled their lawsuit through settlement. For the relaunch, Kylie Cosmetics started on a new plate, deleting all their previous Instagram posts and began a new campaign for the relaunched brand. The relaunch was officially announced with an Instagram post, followed by a documentary about the rebranding process on Kylie's personal YouTube channel. For the marketing, the brand adopted a clean, vegan-styled theme. However, the brand's logo was still the same as it had been before, a move deemed a missed opportunity by some people because it doesn't depict the new theme. The promotional imagery for the relaunch also seemed to be at odds with the clean theme, focusing on highly polished photos. The first new product under the rebranded image was Kylie Baby, a new baby care line. Before releasing the product in 2021, 
Kylie had already established herself as a mother by giving birth to Stormy. Since then, the business affair of Kylie Cosmetics has been sailing smoothly. Currently, it's valued at $680 million. So, there you have it, the rise of Kylie Cosmetics. From its initial success which was impeded by controversies to its comeback, Kylie Cosmetics has proven that it's here to stay. What's your thoughts on this video? Share it with us in the comment section. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.